Good day everyone. So for today's lesson, we're going to discuss about addition and subtraction of integers. So let's have some recall first on concept of absolute value. So when we say absolute value, this refers now to the distance of a number from zero on a number line. So meaning how far is a number from the number zero on a number line. It is denoted by the absolute value of a, where a is an integer. So the bar symbol beside a, on both sides of a, are symbols we use for absolute value. Now, let us consider this number line. So as you see, we have given 6. So positive 6 on the right and negative 6 on the left. So let's find the distance of these numbers. So as you see, we have... Six, uh, for a positive integer 6, so it is 6 units away from 0. Same thing if we have negative 6. So it is 6 units away also from 0. So we say that the absolute value of 6 is equal to 6. So same thing if we have the absolute value of negative 6. So it is also equal to 6 units. Now, if we have absolute value of 4, so in that case, how far is 4 from 0? So with this, we have 4. Then, for absolute value of negative 9, so it is also 9 units away from 0. Now, let's have addition of integers. So for addition of integers, we have two cases to consider. First, if integers have same signs and the other are integers with different signs. So when we say same signs, so this refers to integers having the same sign or let's say like signs. So in that case, to perform addition of integers with same signs, so what are you going to do? All you have to do is to add the absolute values and use the common sign. In that case, if you have two negative integers added, so, therefore, the sum is also a negative integer. So, if we add two positive integers, so the sign, is, the sign of their sum is positive. So, let's have some examples for addition of integers with the same sign. So, let's have first negative 7 plus negative 6. So, in that case, we get the absolute values of negative 7 and the absolute value of negative 6. So we know that the absolute value of negative 7 is 7 added by the absolute value of negative 6, which is 6. So therefore, by performing addition, so we have 7 plus 6, that gives you 13. So based on the rule, so we use the common sign. Since on the given mention that they are both negative, so in that case, the sum of these integers is also negative. So if we have negative 7 added by negative 6, the result is negative 13. Now, let's have another example. So if we have positive 5 added by positive 11. So simple as we are performing addition of whole numbers. So we add 5 and 11. So since they are both positive, so in that case, if we add 5 and 11, that gives you 16. So since the givens uh, mentioned that 5 and 11 are both positive, so the sum is positive 16. Now, what if we have integers with different signs? So they have different rules in performing addition of integers with different signs. So if we have different signed integers, all you have to do is to subtract the smaller absolute value from the greater or larger absolute value. Then what comes next after that? So, we use the same sign as the number with the larger absolute value. So, which one is larger? So, that will be the basis of our signs. So, let's have this example. We have negative 8 plus positive 12. So with this, we get the, the absolute values. So we have 8 
the absolute value of 8 and the absolute value of 12. So the absolute value of negative 8 plus the absolute value of positive 12. So in that case, we have 8 and 12. So it is mentioned on the rule is that we're going to subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. So therefore, it becomes 12 minus 8. So by performing subtraction, so 12 minus 8 becomes 4. Now, is that our final answer? Now, let's refer to the next step. It is mentioned we use the same sign as the number with the greater absolute value. Based on the given example, so 12 has the larger absolute value. And from the given, that 12 here is positive. So therefore, the sum of these integers is positive 4 because 12 is larger than 8. Now, let's have another example. We have negative 10 plus positive 3. So with this, so the, we all know that the absolute value of negative 10 is 10 and the absolute value of 3 is 3. So in that case, we subtract. So we have 10 minus 3. Now, so by performing subtraction, we have 7. So, as you observe the given, 10 has a larger absolute value. And based on the given, that 10 is negative. So, therefore, the sum of negative 10 and 3 is negative 7. And last, so we have 6 plus negative 9. So again, we get the absolute values. So 6 and negative 9. So the absolute values are 6 and 9 respectively. So we subtract 9 to 6. So we have 9 minus 6. So in that case, we have 3. So as you see on the given, that 9 is larger than 6 and 9 is in negative form or has a negative sign. So in that case, the sum here is negative 3. So that's how you add integers provided that they have same sign or different signs. So let's have subtraction of integers. So for subtraction of integers, so we have different rules also in performing these operations. So to subtract integers, just add the integer to the additive inverse of the subtrahend. So to make it short, for any real number x and y, so if you have x minus negative y, that would be that becomes x plus positive y. So if we have x minus positive y, it becomes x plus negative y. So as you see, the subtrahends are changed into its additive inverse, and then the operation subtraction it becomes addition. So in that case, so we are also performing addition when it comes to subtraction of integers. So let's have this example. So we have 6 minus 10. So we all know that say, uh, the subtrahend 10 is greater than the minuend 6. So in that case, we changed its operation. So it becomes 6. We copy the minuend. So change the operation from subtraction to addition. Then we change 10, the subtrahend, into its additive inverse. So we all know that the additive inverse is also known as the opposite. So we change the Sa uh, sign of the given number. So in that case, the additive inverse of 10 now becomes negative 10. So we have now an expression 6 plus negative 10. So in that case, we're going to perform again the rules in adding integers. So as you observe on the given, they have different signs. So in that case, we subtract. So 10 minus 6. So, the difference now becomes 4. So, from this new given, so what will be our sign? So, as you see, that 10 is greater than 6 and 10 is in negative. So, therefore, we write four, negative as our sign of the final answer. So, in this case, if we have 6 minus 10, it becomes negative 4. Next, if we have negative 9 minus negative 3. So, same process as the first, as the previous. So, again, 
we retain the mean you went negative 9. So we copy negative 9. And then we change the uh, operation from subtraction into addition. So this now becomes negative 9 plus. Now, the subtrahend here is negative 3. So we change negative 3 into its additive inverse. So the additive inverse now of negative 3 is positive 3. So we have now already addition operation. So in that case, since again, this have different signs, we're going to subtract. So we have 9 minus 3. So that gives you 6. So again, we refer to the new addition expression. So we refer to this, what will be the sign of the final sum. Okay, so on the given, as you see, 9 is greater than 3. And 9 is also negative. So therefore, the sum is negative 6. So if we have negative 9 subtracted by negative 3, the result is negative 6. Last, we have 8 minus negative 2. So with this, so we copy again the minuend 8. We change the operation from subtraction to addition. And then we change the subtrahend into its additive inverse. So 2, negative 2 has an additive inverse of positive 2. And then we perform addition of integers. So we have 8 plus 2 that gives you 10. Since they are both positive, so the sign here is positive. So, from the 16th floor of a hotel, an elevator goes down 9 floors and up by 5 floors. At what floor is the elevator then located? Now, before we solve, let us represent the given situation. So, we all know that we have different situations we use signed numbers. So, in that case, we use positive and negative integers. So in this case, so based on the uh, problem statement that it goes down nine floors, so it is represented by negative nine because of the term down. Then up five floors, so it is represented by five or positive five. So, so these are floors up and then Negative 9 is represented by floors down. So it goes down by the elevator. So let's now construct the equation. So to solve for it, so we start from the 16th floor. So in that case, we have 16 plus, it is mentioned, goes down 9 floors. So that will be added by negative 9, added by 5 because it up by 5 floors. So at what floor? Is the elevator then located? So by performing addition of integers, so we have 16 plus negative 9. So in this case, so they are unlike signs. So in that case, so we have 7. Because 16 minus 9 is 7. And 16 is greater, so positive 7. Then added by 5, the result now is 12. So at what floor now is the elevator then located? So, in conclusion, so the elevator now is located on the 12th floor. So, that's it for addition and subtraction of integers. So, I hope you all learn from this lesson video. 